What are your yeah. thoughts about like the future of peptides? Do you see it going mainstream? Do you see the FDA clamping down? Um, you know, anytime anything works, that's a little bit natural. The FDA likes to get on top of it. So um, I've seen pharmacies kind of work around it. There are ways to, you know, ways to, to kind of, um, eventually I think what's going to happen is larger pharmaceutical companies are just going to take it, own it, and then give it a brand name. And then, and then, you know, it'll be theirs because right now it's kind of non-proprietary. A lot of pharmacies around the country can do it the way they want to do it using uh, compounding pharmacies. So eventually the FDA will, will get involved. Um, I think, you know, the injection thing is a big hurdle for some patients. They they're, they're really don't like the idea of injecting themselves. So that's, uh, you know, a patient stumbling block. Um, but I think they're, I think they're really powerful. I think more and more are going to be coming out. And I think more and more targeted, uh, uh, you know, physiological, biological effects are going to be, are going to be had with these peptides. It's going to be really exciting to see. Um, there's just going to be more and more research around it. It's just, uh, adoption by the public. And then, yeah, having the FDA kind of, um, figure out how it's going to, cause right now they're, they are FDA approved in a sense that they're can use them, um, in certain cases. Uh, but there's a little bit of a gray area in terms of how you're able to, to, to label them or market them. So, um, you have to get them through specialty pharmacies that are just not available, like at CVS or something. Um, so once that gets all sorted out, I think, um, it'll be a little bit more mainstream as well. Yeah. Just like big pharma to come step in and take over something that's actually working for people. But I hope for the time being, like we're seeing that it continues to, to grow in its mainstream. People continue to use it for the benefits of healing and, and really using it as part of an integrated personalized plan. Dr. Ivanitsky, thank you always. I'll see you in a couple of minutes downstairs because we are literally <laughs> rolling on top of each other right now. But for everyone listening, you know, these short stories are something we want to do is just bring you these snippets not these hour long type of podcasts, but really information that we, you could digest quickly about a specific topic. And as you can see here, you know, peptides are, are a really interesting form of medicine that I truly do believe is just going to get better and better as it goes along. And uh, we're using it here at New York Center for Innovative Medicine, great results and, and really applying it in that, that very tailored way that we do everything. So I think it's something to look out for. And if you want to learn more, definitely go to innovativemedicine.com, look it up, do your research. But you know, for now, that is our short story on peptides. Thanks again, Dr. Mark. All right. Take care.